So one of my favorite pieces of gear when I go on a cruise these days is my GoPro Hero 7 Black. I get asked often what exactly do I do with this camera and uh, yeah. So in this video I'm going to show you a few things I do with the GoPro Hero 7 Black on a cruise. <music> Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our cruising content. Let's talk cameras. Let's talk the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm going to give you some examples of how I use this camera. First off, I want to show you I've got it on this Joby, uh, real the small version of the bendable tripod. The most frequent way that I use this camera is on this tripod attached to a rail of a cruise ship for time lapse. Uh, almost every vlog that I have has at least one time lapse of the sail away. I try to get a time lapse of the sunrise or the sunset and I use this camera. Before I had this camera I would use a bigger tripod and mount one of my bigger cameras to the side of the ship. Uh, this one works a whole lot better. Yeah, time lapse is great with this. I don't use any time lapse mode. I just shoot at regular speed and then I speed it up in my editor maybe 20 times or uh, 80 times just depending on the effect that I want to go with. So my most frequent number one use is time lapse. And so another way that I use this camera is as a waterproof camera. The whole enclosure is waterproof. You can take this under the water and I use one of these uh, floaty mounts to actually mount it and use it like that. Uh, this is great. Obviously it's built to be in the water and so I use this in the water. Probably the third most frequent way that I use this camera is as a vlogging camera. If I don't want to take my big camera out because I know I'm going to get into the water, maybe it's a beach day, I will use this camera for vlogging. Uh, I use it as is. It has microphones in the front and in the back of the camera. And the audio is okay. The only challenge that I have is sometimes you get this extra noise that comes off of the tripod or the mount that you're using. Uh, if I was going to use this as a full-time vlogging camera, they do have an audio adapter. I would probably get an audio adapter and I would, uh, I'll show you a picture here of a setup where this has a microphone with a windsock and a kind of a cage mount where you can carry this around and vlog. Now when you have it set up like this you can't use it as a waterproof camera because you have to take part of the camera off to get the audio adapter on. And the other thing I don't really like when I vlog with this camera is you can't really see uh, what you're shooting. The only viewfinder is on the back there and so when you're vlogging hopefully you've got the camera in the right position. Uh, I kind of like to do it a little more stylized. I like to set up on either the right or the left of the frame and I have trouble doing that. This is a big wide lens so as long as you point it at yourself you're going to be in the middle for the most part. So it works okay as a vlogging camera but not my first choice as a vlogging camera but in a pinch if I'm getting off the ship and I don't want to take my larger camera uh, I can use this to vlog. And of course I use it for action. This camera has the new GoPro stabilization built into it. Uh, probably the best example is when I went to St. Martin and rode ATVs. This camera was shaking all over the place but the footage was smooth as butter. So if you're doing anything action, biking, running, uh, this is a great camera to capture action and give you some nice buttery smooth footage. Now the last way I like to use this camera is also as a point and shoot still camera. It has a photo mode. Uh, again, so much of this is if I'm not carrying another camera. This really is my one camera for the beach day and you can go into photo mode and you can take photographs. The only thing about this camera is you can't get any of those nice portrait blurry shots with your photo settings. You can't get any kind of nice blur with your video settings because it's just uh, one, the aperture is just set the same for all of it. So you can't get any of that nice bokeh. But it is a great camera for just getting some stills, capturing the moment, and also capturing video of the moment that you can use in your, in your vlogs. Now I've been asked a few times if I could only take one camera on a cruise, what would it be? I have been answering the GoPro Hero 7. I think you can do a lot with this that you could actually tell a great story. But I, I did want to mention that just uh, yesterday, DJI, the drone maker, the people that make the Osmo Pocket, they have introduced their own action camera. And like I said, the big beef I have about vlogging with this is there's no pop-up screen, there's no way to see what's in your frame. Well, DJI, their action, DJI Osmo Action, actually has a viewfinder on the front where you can see what's in frame. So uh, 
I haven't used that camera yet. I don't know what the other limitations are. Uh, so make sure you check out the DJI Osmo Action before you get an action cam. Of course, if you already have the GoPro, it's, uh, it's great. But if you're in the market for an action cam, make sure you not only do you check out the GoPro line, but you also check out DJI's new Osmo Action line. So how do you use your GoPro when you go cruising? Uh, do you do some of the things that I do? Are there things that you do that I don't? Uh, leave a comment below, let me know. Hope this info was helpful. Please hit that like button if it was. Consider subscribing, follow us on social media. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.